Man, I got Bubba Dub at the shop, man. They want to do something with you, man. Oh, it's going to be great. My ladies from Skin Cut Touch. They up here. Uh, we do a magnificent, funny video. Well, if they would have put it out, they would have put me in a movie together, homie. We would have been the new Martin Lawrence and, and, and Eddie Murphy. We got to touch on it because uh, we don't got to, but I, I just want your perspective on it. I prefer to. Yeah, I, hey, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we see uh, Bubba Dub, you know, trash. You know, we see him go in and say, he screams plagiarism, man. My jokes are being stolen. Uh, Charleston White's taking all my jokes. Look at him. I'm, a, you know. Look I've, never, I've never seen a Bubba Dub comedy stand-up show, homie. I don't watch nobody. Mm. I'm so into me because I've taken over the internet, homie. I don't watch nobody. I'm too busy watching all my videos, looking at them goddamn comment section, seeing who took my video, seeing them coming. That's how I stay so engaged. So I don't watch nobody else. So I don't know where you can see a Bubba Dub stand up comedy to steal his jokes. So you do two comedy shows and the nigga got something to say already? Yeah. That's crazy as fuck. <laughs> well, he's saying, he's saying I took his ass eating joke. I've never seen his oh, oh. ass eating jokes. Oh, oh. Wait, what is the joke? <laughs> about eat something that about eating ass. So and, and so I literally lay down on the ground and do this. He do too. I didn't know he did that. I'm theatric in everything I do. But let me tell you what the real problem is. <laughs> Bubba Dub got DJ Wildhair as a manager. A nigga that done spin records and everything he done done in the city done fail. By the time Wild Heart get Bubba Dub, Bubba Dub signed to another nigga. So he signed to two, two niggas. Already issues. I get a call from Boss Talk about two years ago. Hey, man, I got Bubba Dub at the shop, man. They want to do something with you, man. Oh, it's going to be great. My ladies from Skin Cut Touch. They up here. Uh, we do a magnificent funny video where well, if they would have put it out they would have put me and that nigga in a movie together homie. we would have been the new Martin Lawrence and, and, and Eddie Murphy if they would have put this motherfucker out we playing like we in the store Charleston and this the two snitches shit ah oh, homie they don't put it out now I done I, I done drove way from Far, far, far work to come out here to Box Spring. I ain't charged for this. I didn't get no B-roll of my own where I can put it out. So for about six months, I'm saying, hey, man, when y'all gonna put the footage out? Another three, man, when y'all, so I'm saying, man, why they won't put the footage out? Come to find out, why I heard this man. I said, oh, okay. I don't, yeah, okay, I see what this is. If they were smart, they'll put it out. They don't never put it out. So I run into him in East Texas at the Mama Scott event. Shout out to Mama Scott. Say, hey, what's up, my nigga? Oh, man, we cool. This is my nigga. Bubble up, my nigga. Man, when y'all gonna put it out? Oh, man, I'll get it to you. I'm hitting boss talk. Man, why y'all won't give it to me? Let me woo, woo, woo. Won't nobody give it to me. So I'm saying, man, okay. So I'm in my feelings about this, but I ain't tripping. I see him again. Goddamn, dog, man, woo, woo, woo. Why y'all won't put it out? I forgot what he told me. At this point, I said, fuck it. I'm doing my own thing. I end up signing with a, a, a production company, a talent agency that oversees the likes of myself and Michael Black's, one of the Wayans brothers, in Bubba Dub. We're on the same roster now. Uh, he ain't headlining. I'm headlining. Uh, and what I made in one show, uh, the agency made more than what I made in one show than what he done made all year in all the shows. Uh, I don't know they mad about nothing. All of a sudden, I start seeing the manager say, I'm stealing this jokes. I'm saying, man, I don't even know what I'm going to say when I get up there. 
I ain't, I'm still a nigga Joe. Man, I, don't, I ain't repeated nothing the same time twice yet. I done done one, two, three show comedy show. I ain't said the same thing twice yet. So before I start saying something, out of respect for the agency, I called the agency. Hey, man, what's up with this shit? The agency says, that's strange. That's ironic. Because that's what people were calling and saying about him. Watching them old Def Jam comedies come trying to go up there and regurgitate them 90s Jeff Jam comedy sets. So uh, that's where that came from, homie. But uh, man, uh, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't watching no nigga, homie. For one, I'm too arrogant to go steal a nigga joke. Yeah, I'm too arrogant, homie. Uh, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna say. Yeah, nigga, I'm niggas pressure up there to try to steal a nigga joke and remember. <laughs> nigga, if I got so much content, homie, with what done happened with me with Soldier Boy shooting myself, uh the the man, I got I ain't got to steal no nigga shit. Bro, you have literal videos, hilarious videos. The millions of people laugh. <laughs> Why would you steal it, bro? Well, I got the funniest shit you ever said was when you fed the Muslims pork in the sandwich. I ain't even told that shit. <laughs> you ain't told that shit. Oh, uh, that was coming. That is coming. Oh, uh, but but think about this, homie. Oh, uh, I've been talking about niggas eating ass. <laughs> I stay bragging about look later. Here go them lips that don't get them bumps on it. You know, I stay doing that. Oh, uh, but homie, that's just hate, homie. Homie, uh, I don't see Bubba Dub selling out nowhere. Homie, I, I, I don't see, man, I don't see nobody other than me, Kevin Hart, uh, and a few other individuals that's booked up to May or June of 2023. I don't see no other comedian that got them scared. So, uh, and not only that, homie, uh, nigga, I'm, I'm, my, I'm, Nigga, some shows, most of the shows I'm making, what most of them niggas making, and they've been doing this already, and I'm just starting out. I came with my own following. So, uh, and I didn't set out to do this. Uh, I discovered that I got the gifts and the talents of being a comedian. I, I discovered that, homie. When I've been trying to find out, I was trying to go to law school. Uh, nigga, I've been trying to do everything but make people laugh. Uh, I've been trying to help people, encourage people. Uh, I've been trying to do everything except make people laugh. So I ain't got to go try to plagiarize a nigga. He got to play a snitch. He got to play Roger 40 years. He got to do that. Mm. I just get up, don't even know what the fuck I'm going to say and start talking. And people go to chuckling. All right. Three stars, nigga. Moving.